it is extremely stinky in this spot. <laughs> and it's not quite a fart smell, it's like a pleasant fart. <laughs> I was uh, just working out and I needed to get some ramen afterwards. Randomly discovered a trail that goes up to a mountain <laughs> right next to the ramen shop. Well, I got my hair cut. They did it wrong as usual. So it wasn't right, but it was better than a lot of the times that I've done it. Uh, but the best part about it is it was $6.80. So pretty good haircut for $6.80. that he has a car two inches behind him. Oh, just noticed it. There you go. Okay, well, I made it to Nasu, which is this week's vlog. It is ridiculously pretty, and the drive here was amazing. It's just rice fields and stuff everywhere. It's pretty awesome. I'm gonna go check out some hiking trails uh, that looks pretty good. And then I might roll over to Nasu Shiobara. So we're going to Sashioseki, which is like a, it said something about rocks and poison. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but we will check it out. I'm kind of excited to see Nasu because it is supposedly very close to Daigo, which is in Ibaraki, next prefecture over. And I've been to Daigo before. It's really pretty, supernatural, really like traditional old Japanese town. That is where I hiked up Mount Nantai from the other side of Ibaraki. So now we're going through Tochigi, almost all the way to the border of Ibaraki, I guess. And we're way up in the mountains, and it's really, really beautiful. Okay, so Nasu is completely different than what I expected. It's obviously a big tourism spot, but it's not, you know, super busy or annoying. It's just that there's a lot of shops and cafes and museums, and there's so much to do here. I just realized I can't really do a Nasu vlog. If I really wanted to do this place justice, I'd have to come here and film for like a month and do like a 12 part series or something because there's so much stuff here. But we're skipping a bunch of that tourism stuff because that's probably what everyone else would do. And we're gonna go up into this mountain to check out this stone park. <laughs> something smells like farts. Something smells like farts over here. As I'm talking, trying to do this vlog, I took a whiff of what's outside and the whole place smells like farts. And that is not, that's not a joke. It smells exactly like farts. So now that I've been here a while, I'm actually kind of used to the smell. It smells really good. Uh, the sulfur kind of mineral smell is mixing in with uh, a lot of flowers and things that are growing around here. And it just smells like some sort of natural aromatic 
therapy or something. But I came up here to look around and I noticed that there's actually a trail that goes pretty far into the mountain, way further than I thought. When I was down there, I was assuming it's just sort of a sightseeing spot, but there's some trails all over here. So I think I'm gonna hike them and see what they have to offer. Super natural, lots of mountains and trees. It's really, really, really pretty. I like the uh, the smelly farts that I thought were gross at first. <laughs> I actually kind of like them now. No! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Fly the size of Montana just flew into my chest. Oh Jesus, no wonder nobody goes this way. This is what this channel is all about. Know what I'm saying? See now everybody else took the normal path and was looking at temples and I bring you guys here which is why you should love my videos. Slowly strolls into the ice cold waters, possibly to his death, but braving the wilds with a sense of with a sense of adventure unlike any known to man. He disregards his own safety in order to get the footage for the channel. Okay, so I made it into the river and it is freaking freezing, but I'm from North Idaho, where the rivers are so cold that when you put your body into them, you immediately feel pain. And I'm not exaggerating, that's how cold they are. So this isn't too bad, but it's definitely like freezing cold mountain runoff water. <laughs> and it's in the shade, so there's no sun to warm me up. But it feels good, and it's super clean. Made it to the top of the waterfall. On top of the waterfall is another waterfall. It's so cold. Oh my God, it's insane. Killer bees in the woods. After the GoPro died and we got some cool shots, one of those insane killer bees was chasing me everywhere and I almost died. I had to jump down off the dam across this ravine because this insane bee surprise was just trying to kill me the whole time. Chased me for like five minutes. Okay, so after escaping the little river of death filled with death bugs, I didn't see this before. It is extremely stinky in this spot. <laughs> and it's not quite a fart smell. It's like a pleasant fart <laughs> mixed with maybe some boiled eggs and like a natural hot spring. It's actually, I don't know, it's not bad, but it's really strong. So this is the stinkiest spot. You know, Hana is the name given to hot spring mineral deposits of crystallized gas sulfur components, which have spouted out from the ground surface. The gas dissolves easily in water, so a roof is made to prevent the gas from going into the atmosphere. Oh, so they're not trying to prevent the stinkiness, they're trying to prevent it from being dissipated into the atmosphere. Uh, Unohana deposits formed on the red clay, which has covered the ground surface, and they were collected. In the Edo period, between 1603 and 1868, you know, Hana deposits were used as tribute in place of the annual rice tax in this region, making this a valuable resource at the time. Yeah, so they put the roofs on top of it, I guess, to keep the gas from dissipating into the atmosphere. And it's a tradition that's been going on since the Edo period. Basically, this whole valley smells like those minerals. It's interesting.
for some reason they decided to put a metal see-through floor on this bridge so uh, it's like staring into your own death the whole time you're walking on it. It's great. It's super windy and the bridge is flying all over the place. Okay, so we checked out Nasu Shiobara and it basically has one street where all the stuff is and that's it. There's not very much here. <laughs> The reason I have a mask on is because I'm inside Coco's, about to get some dinner. Gonna eat me some pieces of meat. It's a little town, but they have all the convenience stuff. Like there's a Nitori here, there's a home center here, there's um, several restaurants and everything. Basically everything you would need. So even though it's small, this one little strip sort of has everything. But it is very countryside and smaller than I expected. There is no possible way that you can see all the stuff that's available here in the countryside. So what we saw today was just a tiny fraction. The shops everywhere, tourism stuff everywhere, and nature sites all over the place. Saw an awesome sunset go down on the way back. Now I'm gonna eat some food, and I'm done for the day. Here goes the sofa. Mm. Oh wow, it's really good. I'm usually not like a huge fan of steak, but for some reason I wanted it tonight. It's like a pleasant fart. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> oh my god, okay. There was sense of the rabbit about now.